For centuries, man has been intrigued by the moon's changing face. Sometimes it's high in the sky. Some nights it's a sliver. And other times, it disappears completely. But this cycle becomes predictable as the moon's phases repeat every month. The Sumerians, Chinese, and Babylonians depended on the moon's cycle to determine their days, months, and years. And the moon's phases still mark the beginnings of Jewish and Muslim holidays. So what causes the moon to have phases? And why is its cycle consistent? Phases represent the illuminated portion of the moon that we see from Earth. As the moon begins to orbit Earth, the sun's light reflects off the moon, causing a different portion to glow. The moon has four main phases. New, first quarter, full, and last quarter. It takes about one week for the moon to change from one of these phases to another. In between, the moon is either a crescent, which means it's less than half full, or gibbous, which is more than half full. When the moon appears to be growing, we say that it is waxing. If it appears to be getting smaller, it is waning. During a full moon, if the moon, earth, and sun align, and the moon passes through the earth's shadow, a lunar eclipse will occur. But since the moon's orbit is inclined about five degrees to earth's, the moon normally passes either above or below the earth. The best time to observe the moon is during its quarter phases, because the terminator, which is the line that separates light from dark, dramatizes the moon's surface features. You'll be able to see mountains, craters, and scarps in the most contrast and sharpest relief.